Hi, I'm Dolly Vasta. Welcome to Dolly's World. Our show today was taped at Congress Hill Farms in Monroe Township, New Jersey. Now, if you take three wonderfully challenged youngsters, put them together with three very clever physical therapists, and add to this mixture two wonderfully gentle horses. What do you have? Well, I'll tell you. You have the Special Stride Therapeutic Training Center. This program is run by three very dedicated therapists, Ellen Stein, Lori Landy, and Susan Ritt. The Special Strides program is based on research that shows the amazing benefits of therapeutic riding. Now, we all know that horseback riding is a lot of fun, but physicians, physical therapists, occupational therapists, social workers, and many others acknowledge the increased development of strength, coordination, balance, range of motion, and flexibility in the participants of equestrian programs such as Special Strides. Now, I had a chance to interview Ellen Stein, so let's join her. What does Jacqueline say when she gets up in the morning? Daddy. Daddy? Yeah. Say when Jacqueline gets up in the morning, she always says, good day, jump up. When Jacqueline gets up in the morning, she always says, good day. What does Jacqueline say? Daddy, daddy, that is what she'll say. Daddy, daddy. That is what she'll Yay. say. Good day. Nick, hooray for you. Hooray! Ellen, this is such an enormous project, the school. Why did you ever get started? How did you get started? Well, Lori and I have been friends for a real long time, and they were offering a class locally on hippotherapy and she wanted to do it. It was always a dream of hers to be able to do more with the kids and she lives on this beautiful farm and it was her dream that became my dream and once we started it it was there was no turning back. The kids were fabulous. It was the opportunity to help kids of all ages with all kinds of abilities and disabilities and we were able to be outside and it was fun and we were outside with nature. It and these great... beautiful creatures. Yeah. They, are, they are really nice. <laughs> yeah, yes, even though they're butting us right at the moment. Well, tell me a little bit about the school, though, itself. How many horses do you have? How many children do you right have? Right now we have How seven horses. <laughs> we have seven horses. We have 50 children at the moment with a waiting list, unfortunately. Um, we have three physical therapists and four occupational therapists. We have a speech pathologist and a therapeutic riding instructor, as well as many, many, many indispensable volunteers that go into running this program. Now, it's just not the idea of riding a horse. It's, no. It's many other... There's a whole lot of things that, go in, that are involved in running a program like this. First of all, because we do not discriminate against a child's age or their disability, we have to focus more on each child as an individual, which is why we don't do group lessons. We only do individuals. Um, though we might take two kids at a time, each child will have their own therapist. And the reason that we would take two kids at a time is for the social interactions um, that the kids might not get otherwise. And it's really good for them to play off of each other. We, um, like I said before, we see everything. We see from the simplest forms of PDD or ADD. What is PDD? Um, pervasive, pervasive developmental disorder. And we see things as severe as spina bifida, cerebral palsy, um, all different, and everything in between, mm -hmm. Down syndrome. But we are, we were started by Lori and I, and then Susie came into it as well. And what we like to tell our parents when they first come to us is, we're mothers. So as mothers, we have a little bit more feel for what we can do with the kid and what's going to make the kids happy and how we're supposed to handle them. <laughs> that was a comment he, I want you to know. He, he was snorting to the truth. <laughs> and then um, as therapists, we're trained in knowing muscularly what needs to be done to make this child have every opportunity they can to Become do better. Become a in life. 
and we do all of those things. So the parental skills come in first and the therapist come in second, but when you put us together with the use of the horse, you have this incredible form of therapy that the children are not able to get anywhere else. <gasps> Ooh, Joshy, do you feel, <gasps> Ooh, do you feel marshy? Do you feel marshy? <gasps> boom, 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 boom. Josh, where Who's are you? Huh? Huh? And hope. 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 Should we sit back up, Josh? Let's bring his legs down. <gasps> Boom. Boom. Is Lori going to get you? Is Lori going to get you? I think she is. Here, oh, look at him. Here I come. I got you. I got you. Lori getting your kissers. I got you. I got you. Actually, I'm going to try another position here. I'm going to make this bigger. Uh, let's go prone across. Ah, Joshy. Ah, do you have this? Are you going to see Lori? Sound. Marshall's gonna go. <laughs> no, he's getting he's starting to increase in tone. Bump. He's starting to take weight on his arms. I'm gonna pull him all the way up. Okay. Yeah, Joshy. Down. Down. If you pull him a little bit more towards you. Yay! How big is Joshy? <laughs> And I've got him weight bearing into my. A little bit. Is that a good noise? <laughs> oh, are you sp are you going to be increase his tone through vibration? And I'm going to come all the way up again. Okay. Oh, I knew that was not a good sound. Okay. We're going to give you a little ride. All that sun. Ready? You can walk. Ready, Josh. There we go. Josh is on run. his belly, his belly, belly, his belly. Josh is on his belly. Joshua Giraffe. Hey, Josh. He doesn't, he's not pulling in the toe no. as before. No. Pick him up a little bit higher on the horse. Ready? One, two. There we go. How big's Josh? So big. Okay, I got him. So big. And down. Yeah, How big's it. Josh? So big and down. Oh! oh. <laughs> How big's Josh? Telling, Lori? So big and boom. How big's Josh? Say, up, 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 Are you doing up, 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 up. that? Susie, did you do that? I initiated. He continued. So big and. Um, one of the things that makes this so special that people don't understand is a horse is a living and breathing animal. And most able-bodied children don't have the opportunity to come out to a farm like this and be able to be in touch with nature and pet a horse and ride a mm -hmm. horse. And these kids not only get the opportunity to do this, they're getting therapy that they don't even know they're receiving. In the children's eyes, they're only here having fun. And the strides that the kids have made are incredible. Well, there's such a bonding too between Absolutely. An and the child, especially with the children who are um, autistic or have emotional problems. They form a bond with the horse or any animal that they might not be able to form with a human being, and for them, it just opens a whole new world. And because they have this bond, they're able to just grow with it and, and follow suit. And it's, it's really, it's a great thing to watch when the kids come in and they're a little shy and they're a little bit afraid. And then all of a sudden they get on and it's like, oh, look at what I'm doing. I'm riding this 1,500 pound animal and I'm, I'm in control. Look at me. <laughs> now we were watching before <clears throat> some of the therapists right? work with a little boy, adorable. Precious, yes, that's little Josh. Precious little boy. 
Explain what they were really trying to accomplish. Josh, Even though they were having fun doing it and they were trying to make him giggle and right. smile. Josh has name? cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that Josh needs to be able to do is Josh needs to be able to be in control of his own body. And if you looked at him or you're watching the video, he doesn't have much head control or trunk control. So what they were trying to do was to stimulate the muscles that would encourage that control. So of course they're gonna do it in fun because mm -hmm. he's a baby. Mm -hmm. And if they're just manipulating him, he's gonna cry. So the goal is safety and fun. And they were having both. I'm gonna use the... Okay, bud. I'm gonna tuck his pelvis a little bit. You ready? Yeah, Are you ready? Oh. Okay, walk on. And we're gonna cut the arena in here. Joshy, who's sitting up so big? Who's sitting up like a big man? Bless God bless you. He's got his bless head's you. really nice. He's he's just coming back. And I like those arms just responding. No. Yep. I like the way the arms are just responding oh. to the motion and the, they have freedom of movement. Right. Tell me a little bit about the next student that we're The next to student who's coming is Timmy Krieg and he is three and a half and he's also a beautiful, beautiful little boy which I guess you're going to hear me say that about every one of our kids because oh, each, each one of our kids is beautiful. He has cerebral palsy as well and his different, he's a little bit different than Josh where Josh has very little tone, he's floppy. Timmy is not. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try to break some of his tone and try to get him to sit up by himself and have control of his head. We also have to work on Timmy's hands. We want Timmy to separate his hands from the rest of his body and be able to hold himself up by himself. Um, like Josh, you're going to see us play with Timmy alone on the horse and, and do all kinds of different movements with him. And then we're going to hop on with him. Timothy, there you go. No hitting it. Boink a boink, boink a boink a boink, boink a boink a boink. Timothy. Oh. Where's Are you Timmy? hiding, Timmy? Are you playing peekaboo? Uh oh. Uh oh. Timmy, look up. There Timmy. you are. Oh, you silly boy. Did you let go? Okay, hey, I got. I've got, got trunk. You. I got Lori, you. I have trunk totally. Okay. I got you. Up. I'm gonna pull it. You pull. Pull, 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 pull. What's Lori doing to you? What's she doing? Here it comes. I'm gonna put it over your head. Who's sitting up nice now? Up. Timmy. Where are you? There he is. You pull it off your head. Where's Timmy? You get take it. Are you throwing it off? Uh oh. Look at your mouth. I'm gonna pull, 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 pull. I'm gonna pull, 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 pull. I'm gonna see if I pull him up if we get some thoracic extension. Up, 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 up. A boom. Hey, get it, get it, Reach get it, get for it. it. Reach. Good boy. Good reaching, Tim. Good reaching. Should we go? Should we say walk on? Yeah. Hey, grab it. Grab it. Uh, look through the window, and who do I see? It's Timmy, friend Timmy, another friend for me. Hello. Yum, 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 yum. Can I eat them? Can Susie eat your fingers, Tim? Give them to me. Can I have them? <gasps> okay, your turn. You eat them now. Up. Where are you going? Yeah. Boom. Good boy. And ho. I want them. I want them. Where'd you go? Uh, where'd you go? Tim, look up at me. Up, there you are. Boom. Here, I'm going to take hands and 
We're ready? Ah. Uh, boom. You lead. I'm so more used to leading hips. Boom. Ah. Boom. Ah. Boom. Ah. Boom. The little one said, roll over. Roll over. Okay. Hands up, hands up. There you go. All the way. All the way. All the way over. Should we go back? Good boy. Keep going. Keep going. Arms up. Arms up and over. over All the way. All over the way. Again. Come towards Susie's hands. Good boy. Good boy, Tim. Want to go over again? You roll over. Roll, Timmy, roll back. That's nice. Push him up. Go back the other direction, silly. Come back this way. Yes. Should I eat this? Should I? What'd Lori do? Where's she going? Are you gonna be a fish? You gonna be one of the, the monkeys in the bed and roll over? Where's your blanket? This one pushing push up, up on Timmy. An Good pushing up. He is smiling up the wazoo. Timmy, look. You wanna grab this? Look. Look. Boom. Yay! You got it. Let's do that again. Oh, you got it. Just take his knees and bring him back up. Thank you. Okay. Here's the blue one. We are looking for blues clues. We are looking for blues clues. We are looking for blues clues. Cause we're really smart. We just got a blue clip. We Did just you take got it, Tim? No, I'm not. You ready? There you go, bud. It might be nice to go into the bridge and see if he'd be interested at all in like throwing rocks in the water. Good Ooh, boy. Good boy, Timmy. And this is exactly, he was, Gary was being really strong on that side and I was keeping him really tucked on this side. Strong and he was reaching. Is that it? Tim! Is that yours? Susie, I'm gonna grab some of these heavy rocks to let Nancy go over the bridge first. What, little man? Timmy, what does that blanket feel like? <gasps> there she is. Look, you get it. You get it. Good opening. Oh, throw One, it hard. One, two, three. Mm. Throw it, Tim. Throw it. I'm gonna wait. I wanna see what, I'm trying Ooh. to give him support. Mm -hmm. but see I, if he'll release. Oh, did you do that? Mm. Yay, that was a nice release. Oh, this is a big one, Tim. Go get it. Go get it from Lori. It's right in her hand. It's right in her hand. Look at it. Tim, look at it, Lori's hand. Timmy, can look at Lori's hand and get it. I'm just trying to give him as much stability here. Open your hand and get it. Here's a big rock. We're going to go make it go splash. One, Ready? two, Oh, no. Are we going to get three. wet, Tim? Down. Yay! Did we get wet? Did you what were they doing in particular this last time with Timmy? With Timmy, they were trying so hard to get him to use his hands. So it was exciting to watch him get up and then reach for something. We play a game with him. You know, there were three in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, because we want Timmy to use his own hands to roll himself over, mm -hmm. to pull himself up so that his whole spine is elongated and his face is erect. Mm -hmm. It's really important, and if you're doing this in a sense of a game and the horse is moving and you're getting all of this input, he's, he does great. And it's also keeping him happy, you know, so it's fabulous. They also were doing a lot of things for him to reach because, again, like I said, Timmy doesn't like to use his hands. So they're trying to do anything in their power to get him to be motivated to use his hands because it's important. Does this flop over when they go home? 
this exuberance and this happiness. A lot of our kids, the parents come back and say the carryover was so great that they're begging us, please, can we bring him another day? Can he come twice a week? Can he come three times a week? And the babies, like a Timmy, we can fit them in because during the day our hours are a little bit more flexible. But come the evening hours, we have all the kids who are in school, so we're not quite as flexible in the evening. Uh, we would love to treat them all three days a week. Uh, but it's just a few of them that do come two, three times a week. But there are therapists in school and their outside therapists are telling us that they definitely see a difference in the kids. Even when the kids stop coming for a little while, you'll notice that their muscles are very tight mm -hmm. and they've had a lot of change in their posture. So we do see that it follows through at home. And then we can blow. Look, blow hard. <gasps> you blow. Hard, blow hard. <gasps> You silly, come on. Blow hard. I did it. Jacqueline is a different case study yeah. now, isn't she? Yeah, the two little boys that you saw before both have cerebral palsy. Jacqueline is this beautiful, beautiful little girl who had a disease called Sturge Weber's. And what happened to her is she would have uncontrollable seizures mm -hmm. and her parents made the decision to have half of her brain removed, a hemispherectomy. And it stopped the seizures. And you can't imagine what this little girl is able to do now. I mean, who would have thought with only half your brain that she would be able to walk or talk or behave like a little girl, smile and play and have fun and sing. And when you see her, you are not going to believe the strides that she has made. chicken? Come here. Should we get off and go find the chickens? Say ho. Are they in there? Ho. Oh. Ho. Good girl. Take your foot out. Can you take your foot out? Yep. What a good girl. Come on. Give it to me. Ta-da. Let's go get a chicken. Come on. Come on. We're going to go get a chicken. March. March. Let me see you march. March. Oh, look at it. Here they are. Pet him, make nice. Oh, isn't he sweet? Do we love the chicken? Yeah. Yeah, feel his feet. Should make nice. Good girl. Should we put him back? Huh, and pick some flowers for mommy? Yes. Yes? Okay, say bye, chicken. Bye, Can you give the chicken a kiss? Bye bye. Yeah. Good girl. Here we go. Let's go see if the babies grew. Isn't that horsey pretty? Is he following his mommy like a shadow? Huh? Yeah. Say when Jacqueline gets up in the morning, she always says good day. Jump up. When Jacqueline gets up in the morning, she always says good day. What does Jacqueline say? Daddy, daddy. That is what she'll say. Daddy, daddy. That is what she'll say. Good day. Nick, hooray for you. Hooray. Who's the best little girl? Me! Yay for Jacqueline Rose! Should we go? Should we walk back the other way? Yeah. Okay. Bye, bye everybody. We're going to go. Bye. Say walk on. Walk on. Bye. Okay. Yeah, we can do this tight work. Here we go. Bye. Say bye, baby horsey. Bye, baby horsey. Walk on. Shake. Shake. Shake our sillies out. How do you shake? Shake. Shake. One last question. If you had your druthers, the next 10 or 20 years, what do you see for yourself, this writing center, the children, the animals, the volunteers? Well, I obviously would love it if all of our kids were normal and we could cure everybody. But for the program, what I would love to see is for us to be able to raise public interest enough and be able to raise enough funds to start an endowment program so that none of the kids had to pay. It's a very expensive proposition 
for their parents. It's just another form of therapy that they're paying for. And I would love to be able to start this endowment fund. So we're always looking for funding. A um, nice, wealthy patron would do yes, you Yes, a nice, a nice patron would help. Um, and I would love to never have a waiting list. I would love it if we had enough horses and enough help that we could accommodate anybody who calls our telephone. Especially volunteers. Now, we were talking about that earlier. You really we, need volunteers. We cannot run our program without volunteers. These people give of their time. They give of their energy. Sometimes they're just here to be a human toy. But we can't function without them because every child who's on that horse needs two people next to them. And one person has to lead the horse. Mm -hmm. So we cannot run the program without our volunteers. So if anybody out here watching today sees this show, by all means, please call us. We train you. If you have any horse knowledge at all, um, you're a great leader right off the bat. And even people who don't have any horse knowledge who are just comfortable around the kids and they're not afraid of the horse, we can train you to be a great volunteer. And if you have some kind of corporation or foundation who has the means, we are always accepting donations. It is a nonprofit organization. and. I would love to make this world a better place, and we have a little bit of that right here. Well, let's hope the show can do some of that. Uh, we're going down to watch some more stuff right at the moment, but I want to thank you, Ellen. Thank you. Well, that's about it for today. I hope all of you out there were as enlightened by the taping as I was. I'd like to take this chance to thank all the folk at Special Strides for their time and their generosity, and especially the volunteers who put so much time and effort into working there. There was a little bit of a tag on one of their publicity brochures, and I would like to read it to you. Special Strides at Congress Hill Farms is one of the magic places on Earth where people can change a life for the better. What more could you ask except to take your riding boots when you get down and visit them? I'll see you all next month. In the meantime, take care.